Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, it's me Hiba Usman. Welcome to my channel. And if you are not still subscribe yet, please do like, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to press the bell icon button and then select all to get my future videos. So today I'm going to prepare malba fish curry, and also it's almost everyone's favorite dish in Kerala. So let's get started. So first let's marinate fish. After cleaning with one and a half tablespoon of vinegar and half teaspoon of salt, I'm using here kingfish for this curry with the bone and skin intact. You can use any fish as you prefer, but for this curry, I prefer kingfish because it gives more flavorable. Now marinate this for few minutes. After that, wash it and keep it aside. Now let's soak six to seven dry red chilies in half cup of water. At least soak it for thirty minutes. And a small bowl size piece of tamarind. Now soak this also for thirty minutes in hot water. Now let's grind two fifty grams of grated coconut with some spices. Now add our soaked dry red chilies. To add in this grinded mixture, let's roast some. Pinch of fenugreek seeds, that is uh, one fourth teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, and half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now roast it till you get slightly brown in color. Now add this into blender. Now add four to five shallots, three tablespoon of coriander seeds. At last, add one and a half cup of water. For blending, now grind this mixture at least for ten minutes to get a smooth mixture. A spicy coconut milk mixture is ready. Now let's extract milk out of it. You can add some hot water into the blender and add to this mixture and strain it again. Here is our spicy coconut milk is ready. Now heat the earthen or mud pot. Add two tablespoon of coconut oil. When the oil is hot, add. One tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, one sliced green chilli. This is milder one. Now add some curry leaves and sauté till the rose smell goes. Meanwhile, let's extract tamarind water out of it. After the rose milk goes, now add a spicy milk into it. Immediately after that, add tamarind water. Now to get color to it, let's add a one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. Now mix it very well. Now let it cook for a few minutes to get rid of a rose smell of coriander seeds and other ingredients. I hope you wash it after few minutes of marinating fish. Now let's add fish one by one.
When it start boiling, let's add salt as per taste. While mixing, be careful not to break the fish. Now without covering, let it cook for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, when almost 10 minutes, let's prepare for toppings. Heat a pan, add some coconut oil. Now add thinly sliced 2-3 to three shallots. When it starts changing color, add some curry leaves and saute till you get golden brown color. Now off the flame and add the toppings. And it's done. Here is our creamy and delicious Malabar fish curry is ready to serve. If you like this recipe, do try and please let me know in my comment section or you can DM me on my Instagram page. All the detailed notes are given in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.